Is she scrapping with the statue? Well, it's possible. She's thrashing her tail and extending her wings to full size. Maybe she's making herself look bigger. An intimidation tactic. Unless it's a... a mating ritual? Whatever it is, it's working. The condor's shaking in its boot. It's an earthquake! Oh no! And the racers are surrounded by loose stones. This is about to get squishy. Well, actually, the Inca didn't use mortar for this exact reason. Earthquakes are common here, and having loose stones means that they can shake and fall back into place safely without the whole structure coming down. Ouch! Of course, there's always bound to be some debris. Both Terra and Rami have taken wind. They're dodging stones left and right. These are some serious flying skills. Oh, yes. Pterosaur wings are more than just flaps of skin. They're covered in a network of muscles, ligaments and tendons so they can adjust the tension and shape of their wings mid-flight. It gives them incredible agility. I'll say Terra is ducking and weaving around these ruins like a winged acrobat. She's way out in front. Yes. Terra is at an advantage here. She's smaller and more lightweight than her older cousin. We think smaller pterosaurs were more likely to be constant flappers, giving them more flexibility in the air, as opposed to the larger soaring species that couldn't muster the energy for non-stop flapping. The earthquake has settled. The pair have made it through the ancient citadel and are approaching the cliff. Terra should go easy here. Why? Look at her go! She's so speedy. She's way ahead of Rami. Yeah, but that cliff is steep. She's really got to time this. Otherwise... Otherwise what? It's not a leap of faith. She can fly. What's the problem? High altitude updraft. Whoa! A gust of wind has shot Terra into the stratosphere. What happened? Well, like we said earlier, pterosaurs have to be lightweight to fly. They have hollow bones, just like the birds of today. Terra is only about the size of a chicken, and these mountain winds are powerful. When she hit the updraft with her wings outstretched, they filled with air and catapulted her into the clouds. <laughs> yep. Oh no, Randy's approaching the edge now. Look out! For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown-up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more... Dino Dino!